All right, gents, as an addendum to our uh, oil change and clutch cover leak fix, I took the bike out and rode it, and I was shocked to discover when I came back that it still leaks, and in fact, it leaks way worse now than it did before. That's not acceptable. We, we gotta fix this for, for safety purposes, because if it's leaking oil out of here, it's leaking oil not only on the header, but also on the rear tire, and that's, that's not cool. So, we gotta fix this somehow, and I did what anybody else might do when they have a problem like this, and I googled it, and it turns out that this is a pretty common issue, and there are a few relatively common prescribed solutions for it. One solution is to replace the clutch cover with an aluminum unit, either by Suzuki or Woodcraft, or from a later model SV650, which requires replacing this whole thing and disassembling the water pump, and I'd prefer not to do that if I don't have to. That seems to be the, the solution that everybody says is the permanent one. However, a solution that very few people seem to be trying is to simply reseal the existing cover. The root of the cause of the problem here is that this piece is plastic and it swells a little bit as it ages. This bike is now 17 years old and that's been full of oil, presumably the entire time. So it's not un implausible by any means that it might not be exactly the same shape as it was originally. But it's close enough that it fits on there and it should be possible to seal it. So what we're going to try today is sealing the, uh, the cover using the, the stock o-ring but also using this Permatex Right Stuff Black RTV. This stuff is meant to be exposed to oil, and my experience is if, if anything is going to be able to seal your gasket mating surface, it's this stuff. So if this doesn't work, then we gotta consider replacing the, the cover with a metal one. But prior to that, because I've got this and we can attempt a free repair, we're gonna do this by using this stuff. All right, step one is to remove our cover from the engine by removing our eight eight millimeter fasteners just like we did before. You'll also note I've got a drain pan under this. I don't actually know for sure that the oil isn't gonna come draining out of there when I remove this. So just in case, I've got the oil pan under there and it should just dribble down the side of the engine and in there and not make a mess. Look at that. It actually doesn't come draining out of there. Oh crap. First thing we want to do is clean our mating surfaces. Let's peel our gasket off here. These are actually reusable as long as they're not totally cooked. But we're gonna help it along with some of the uh, RTV. I doubt that the factory would prescribe this as a repair solution, but they probably also didn't consider what would happen by using a plastic piece. So we're, we're doing our own thing here. Cleaning the engine, first we want to wipe any, you know, standing oil off of there. And we do the same with our cover. See how it's, there's oil all in here. It's definitely just leaking out the bottom there. Now, we'll use purple degreaser on a paper towel. You don't need a whole lot, just a little. Clean the mating surface off. So we once again get our degreaser on there. We start working on the cover itself. And I'm gonna go wash this, and then I will be back once it's clean. And we're back. We've got our RTV, and we've got our cleaned clutch cover, and we're ready to make a mashup of the two. So we'll get it in there like this. It really doesn't wanna go in there. We're staying, okay. We're gonna set that aside. I've had this a while, and this may be dried out. Luckily, I have another tube of similar stuff that I'm pretty sure is not. So we've got another tube of basically the same stuff. With this black RTV, there's two different kinds. There's one kind, the good kind, that smells like tar. And then there's another kind, the bad kind, that smells like vinegar. The vinegar, vinegar smelling stuff sucks. You don't want that kind. What you want is the tar smelling kind, like this. However, if you're buying it, buying it fresh, this stuff, if it's fresh, is amazing. This stuff is basically the same, but a different brand. You just apply a little bead of it. You don't need a huge amount. And I should note, this gasket surface is not designed to be sealed this way. This is by no means a factory-approved way of doing this. 
I suspect that the factory would tell you replace this cover. The trouble with that is that the cover is probably borderline unobtainium, especially if you need one that doesn't leak. Because they were all made in 2001. So now we've got a layer of this on there. I'm just going to use my finger and smooth it out. And remember, you don't need a huge amount. You don't need, like, a big thick glob of it. You just want it kind of covering there. You want to make sure that it goes all the way around. So there we go. You can see that I've got the RTV on there and it goes all the way around. So I'm going to set this down now and I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to cure before I install the cover on the engine. Okay, and we're back. Our RTV has had a few minutes to set up. We're ready to put our uh, cover back on the engine. Get it back on here making sure we orient it right side up. Make sure you align the bolt holes, and then get a couple of the fasteners in there. And I like to use this one here, because it's got this little doohickey. And we've got another one up here. Oil filler cap back in here. There. And now, we give this maybe an hour or so to set before we can uh, take it out for a little ride around the block and see if this leaks afterwards. This stuff fully cures in about 12 hours, but it's supposed to be good so that you can operate the engine after about an hour. All right, guys, following up on this, I'm happy to be able to claim that finally we have defeated the oil leak at the clutch cover. It's actually a couple of weeks later, and I've taken the bike out for several rides, including just now. And after several heat cycles where I would heat the bike up and ride it around and let it cool down and heat it up again and let it cool down, there's no leakage at that mating surface. So I think it's safe to conclude that failing just the gasket, you can use some oil rated RTV to seal that and get the, the plastic cover to seal. I have no experience with the metal covers from Woodcraft or Suzuki, so I can't comment on whether or not those are a better solution other than that obviously that's probably more of a what the factory would tell you to do. Uh, nevertheless, if you don't feel like spending the money on the metal ones, the RTV, which costs just a couple of bucks, Seems like it'll fix your problem, or at least it did in my case. So, I hope this helped you out, and as always, I will see you in the next one.